public service announcement from the boxing clinic and more. Probably my last video for the night. If you support Anthony Joshua and him ducking Deontay Wilder and telling him he can't go into the ring uh, because he don't want no smoke, um, you know, you sorry. You a sorry case. You you those fan boxing fans that we don't like, you know. And I don't care if we could agree on a thousand things before this. This is a is a breaking point for me. You know, we back. It's the Box Clinic more. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the Lions Den Box Community, known as the LDBC. Shout out to the YTBC and everybody in between. And I can't support this. You will never me hear me supporting a guy that's ducking on this level. You know, I love Anthony Yard to death, and I and I and I supported his, um, you know, his decision to pass up on Better Beep. You know why I supported that decision? And as long as I can support it with facts, I can live with it because I know he's not ready. No amateur background. You going with a guy that had a hell of an amateur background and Better Beep wasn't a smart decision. And if Anthony Yard was a champion. Then I couldn't say that no more. You know, I can't say that. But one thing somebody said in the comment section about that situation was they ever say that somebody said that they duck at Anthony Yard and he not getting the opportunity. When he passed up on that title shot, that, that excuse went out the window. But Anthony Joshua was a full grown champion. It should be no excuses why he doesn't want to fight Deontay Wilder. Because according to you guys, according to Eddie Hearn, according to Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder ain't nothing. He's a bum. What did uh, Bob Aram say? He's the worst guy I've ever seen. He's this. He's that. He's not this. He's garbage. And if that's the case, if he's so sorry, somebody please explain to me what's there to fear? What's there to avoid? Why can't he get in the ring? What's the issue? Why are you guys supporting Anthony Joshua's decision not to fight Deontay Wilder? Then you guys come and say, well, he's been protected his whole career. If he's protected... This should be an easy victory, and we should have an undisputed champion in the UK that should reign supreme over the heavyweight division. No if and buts about it. And they say so many dumb things and put their foot in their mouth. Like Aunt Joseph Parker's an easy fighter. He's a better fighter than, jo than Anthony Joshua. I mean, than Deontay Wilder. He's better than this. If he's better, then I mean, I mean, shit. As you get done with wiping the floor with, with Joseph Parker, come wipe the floor with Deontay Wilder. You know, and all the UK fans, oh, he'll smash him. He'll, he'll do this, he'll do that. Oh, Luis Ortiz going to kill him. But they feel to re recognize, and I know a lot of these guys know the facts. But a lot of these guys don't want to hear the facts. They don't want to believe the facts. The fact is, Anthony Joshua ducked Luis Ortiz. He was sanctioned to fight Vladimir Klitschko for the w Super WBA title, Luis Ortiz. Vladimir Klitschko respectfully told him he, will, he wouldn't want to fight him. It wasn't worth his while at this point. He liked to fight Anthony Joshua. They got a deal together and said that Ortiz will fight the winner regardless. I did a video on this down there every day for two or three months straight. So people know way back when I was doing this. Okay? And they played Luis Ortiz. They asked the IBF and the WA, Yo, please, IBF, give us a, a mandatory, you know, mandatory. Let IBF mandatory go. Then we come back for fight Ortiz. And Ortiz fought, failed the drug test. Deontay Wilder didn't have to fight Luis Ortiz, but guess what? He did. Juiced up or not juiced up, he fought him. He beat him. You guys said he wouldn't beat him. He was a bum. No way he could beat him. He knocked him out. He passed that test, and now all of a sudden, Dylan White. So why should he go from Luis Ortiz to Dylan White? That's a big step backwards. And people say, who well, is four or five million dollars? And Andy Hearn put the offer up for what? And and and, and Deontay Wilder gave you guys his ultimate rebuttal to, to Eddie Hearn and gave Eddie Hearn his ultimate rebuttal. Put Anthony Joshua in the contract, and I'll fight Dylan White. Guess what? Eddie Hearn wouldn't do it. So in the boxing community, somebody please let me know, UK, you know, wherever you from, when have we started to make excuses for somebody that's scared and ducking? Somebody who verbally came out and said on video, I'm not ready for water to 2019, 2020. This is the very same Deontay Water that you guys call weak, trash, protected, you know, Beyonce Wilder, can't do nothing, windmill. I mean, if this guy's so terrible, then why is he so avoided by Anthony Joshua? Why is he so scared? I just want to know. If this guy's polished and he's this highly skilled heavyweight that you guys are making him out to be, then why is this fight not happening? Why is it hasn't happened yet? Why are you supporting this guy? Because that's all that's all you got. You have wonderful fighters in the UK. I, I love Lee Shelby. I got much love for Josh Taylor. Both of those guys. Much love and respect for those. I respect Amir Khan. For for coming getting knocked out, 
and keep coming back stronger and stronger every time. I respect Kell Brook for still coming back down to fight Earl Smith. Much respect to to, to you guys, fighters, because it, it it always wasn't seen that you guys had bronze, bronze balls of bronze steel or whatever you want to call it. Now you guys are showing that you have grit. You right there with America as far as competition and wanting to be the best and really wanting to go grab it and come over here and prove it. And our fighters that came over there and proved it and whooped y'all guys' ass a lot of times too. You know, you guys came over got a win with Sean Port- with, with Kel Brook and Sean Porter. Amir Khan and whooped some ass over here as well. You know, so that that's neither here nor neither there. So why are you guys not holding Anthony Joshua to the same standard? Because I, I, I really do believe you guys uh, fear Deontay Wilder at this point. I really do. It's not the fact that he's the most, you know, you know, skilled heavyweight of all time. It's because he's a wild card. You don't know what the fuck this crazy mongoose guy going to do. And neither does Anthony Joshua. But you guys are letting Eddie Hearn do what Bob Arum did to the American public when he came to Pacquiao and Mayweather. He mind-fucked the American public to thinking Pacquiao wanted to fight, but Mayweather didn't want to fight. And all the way around, and it came out to be true that Bob Arum didn't want to fight because he wanted to continue to milk the cow and Pacquiao. And he knew what Floyd Mayweather was going to do to Pacquiao the whole time. He promoted Floyd Mayweather. He knew what type of caliber of fighter he was. And I believe Eddie Hearn knows that Eddie uh, that Anthony Joshua legitimately can get his ass whooped and will get his ass whooped. And once Anthony Joshua gets knocked out and go Frank Bruno 1.5, all them them business doors, how you able to get Jarrell Miller over HBO deal, how you get Danny Jacobs the HBO deal, how this and that happened, it's gone. You know, it's gone. All the opportunity that he had, he's bankrupt. He has nothing behind Anthony Joshua. All the fighters that he did once have, he basically lost him from giving all the attention to Anthony Joshua. So he put his eggs in one basket, and then, you know, one Easter egg hunt, Deontay Wilder can steal them all. And then he's going to be back in the gutter begging for fighters. We-